Okay. Uh, let us continue with the determination of lower and upper limit. So lower limit, negative pi over 2. Substitute here, negative pi over 2. Okay. That's the upper limit. Cosine of uh, negative pi over 2. That is... Zero, okay, zero. P is equal to cosine of negative pi over two at the zero. And P of what? Upper limit. So this is actually A. And cosine of positive pi over two is actually zero. B. So therefore, this is what? This is zero and this is zero. Upper and lower limit are both zero. They are both zero. And therefore, we know that we know that this is equal to zero. Both upper limit and lower limit are zero. Okay? So there is no range. There is no valid region because they are both zero. There is no valid region because Zero and zero, they they are on the same point. They are the same line. So immediately we know that if we integrate this, they will become zero. Okay, that's that's the reason why we have zero. So therefore, our final answer b is equal to b one plus b two, which is eight pi plus zero, therefore our answer is eight pi. Okay. Eight pi. So let us uh, let's take a look. Let's uh, compare to the uh, answer of the book. So this is our textbook. So let us compare fourteen point one. So number fifteen. So number fifteen. The answer is eight pi. Okay. So this is number fifteen, eight pi. Okay, oh, that is the number 15, okay? So here, this is the number 15. So uh, 8 pi, okay? The answer is 8 pi, okay? So we are correct. Now, as you can see, as you can see, that is the... That is the uh, double integral solution, but uh, we can we can we can check, huh? Check, we check if that is true, because our uh, this is our this is our uh, what? Uh, with diameter, what is our diameter? Four. Okay. So this is four. And we have what? Here, no? What do you think is the height of this? Height. Okay. So the height of this is actually four. The height of this is actually four. Well, how do I know that is four? Because of this, this part. We have a drawing of this part. The drawing of that part is actually what? The drawing of that part is actually 2 and 
2. Now, from 0, we have 2 and 2. And therefore, this is uh, axis of z. This is x. So if you... go until negative 2 because 2 and negative 2 this whole thing is what our diameter diameter of the cylinder this is 4 okay how much is this the height the height is actually 4 because the middle the middle is 2 okay the middle is 2 here the middle is 2 the height is 2 because this is our x plus z is equal to 2. Okay? So, that's why we know that the height is 4. Yeah. However, uh, we can check that if we cut off, okay? If we cut off this uh, triangle, okay? This is 4. If we cut off in half, Okay. And you will notice that this portion is equal to this portion. And therefore, we can solve for what? We can solve for a cylinder, volume of the cylinder with height 2 and diameter is equal to 4. How to solve for uh, this? But the uh, volume of the cylinder volume of cylinder is equal with this so pi r squared times height height now is 2 okay so pi what is r? 2 2 squared height is 2 therefore the answer is 8 pi check Okay, that's why our answer is correct, 8 pi. The answer is correct, 8 pi. Okay, do you imagine? Can you imagine this one? Can you imagine? Oh, this is for our uh, number 15, page 418. Okay, so please uh, watch and if you have any question, Please use our uh, comment section below. Okay. See you next meeting. Again, this is uh, Dr. Ripi, Preaching Engineering Coordination Building.